Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, and I'm back today with another video. Um, I usually do like makeup videos or collabs or uh, hauls, unboxings, talk about my fur babies, mental health, chronic pain, and just a lot of other things. If that's something you're interested in, like, comment, subscribe below, please ring that bell, and let's get into it. My beautiful fur baby, Lucky, who is um, 15, sorry my allergies are acting up today, <coughs> is getting blood work today. <clears throat> I guess about two weeks ago he stopped eating, and, no, well, maybe three weeks ago, and, um, we didn't know what was going on, and he was really sick and having some incontinent problems. But we've been feeding him prescription food for about two weeks. And Tuesday, he just started eating the amount he's supposed to eat for his size. So I guess I could have canceled the blood work, but because of his age and stuff, I still want to get it done and make sure everything's good. So I think he's fine now. But again, I just want to make sure he's 15 and uh, all my cats have disab disabilities or diseases. So I want to make sure that nothing's going on with other stuff he's got going on so anyway i'm gonna do a quick eye look um, hopefully when i get back i'll be able to do my trimming mystery which i know is late and then i also got my boxy charm lux um last week i think but anyways hopefully those will be coming soon if not i'll probably just skip them because they are kind of late but my last video was Glaminatrix, I think. I don't think I'm going to swap these videos, but... So, this one is also Glaminatrix. And this is their newer palette, the Glamorous. And it's just a maroon packaging with gold writing. I can't believe my stomach's already growling. Usually it don't start growling until like 3 or 4 p.m. But I've been up for a while. And then, this is the cover. It's so pretty. Um, and it's got a nice mirror and then beautiful beautiful shades again most of the palettes they've come out with are perfect palettes for me um, that's one reason why I keep them on my radar it does take a while to get there sorry I've got something in my eye I worked on it like 20 minutes before I came on the uh, camera and whatever's in there either scratched my eye and is no longer in there or still in there but I couldn't find it but, um, oh, excuse me, I didn't get much sleep. Um, so let's get into this. Um, if you do order from Glaminatrix, again, shipping takes a while. It's not their fault. Between clearance and customs and all that jazz, it just takes a while. Especially if it's a pre-order, because you already are waiting several weeks to get the palette um, made and everything. And then when it ships, it takes a while. So just to let you know... Now these are kind of on the darker side, but I am going to go in with uh, style right here. I hope y'all don't hear those big construction trucks. We live on a dead end road, but there's some houses being put up at the very, very end. And let me get a fluffy brush. And it's been loud this morning. Buddy is in his crate asleep, I think. I want to kind of get this done get these creases out my eyebrows are bold today oh, I don't know what's going on I guess whatever I'm using is darker than normal because I usually don't go that dark but that's fine I'm gonna go in with that light green on the outer V and the crease I'm going in real light because I know these shadows are usually super pigmented just so I can kind of see where I'm gonna go with this look I'm just going to the vet, but have you ever woke up and kind of looked in the mirror like, ooh, I would feel better if I threw some makeup on. Usually, I mean, it's just the vet. I would not throw makeup on, but I looked pretty rough this morning. Like, I'm just tired and I don't feel great. And, you know, that always kind of shows in your face. So I thought I'd use this palette with its bright colors. And maybe that would cheer me up a little bit. I did use the Makeup Forever. Let's see what color. Lagoon uh, uh, 
waterproof eyeliner and my water on. I know those pencils are kind of expensive, but they're really long. They last forever. And, I mean, you can't beat anything in the waterline over that. I do love Lethal and Melt Cosmetics Pot Liner for the waterline, too. But those makeup forever pencils are just so easy and good. I've gotten several of my friends literally always ask me, when's your 20%? I want to get a liner. I actually got one for my last friend last month. She had a birthday. And her, the last one she got last year, and she uses it pretty much every day, um, was out. So when something was like, 22 24 dollars but it's gonna last me a year i i'm not worried about that 20 20 something dollars even if drugstore would be half the price drugstore to me is not as good as those makeup forever pencils there's a lot of stuff i would say oh yeah get drugstore i do have a couple high-end mascaras i like but drugstore mascaras i've had especially waterproof i've had great luck with so, it really depends on, you know, what you're looking at. My stomach, I don't know why it's so growly already. It's not even 11 o'clock. I hate if y'all hear that, but just the way it's going to be this morning. That is a really pretty color. I'm glad I put it on light, though, because I'm going to go in with some darker shades. Yeah, it's that guy. Usually, I would just throw on some makeup and not record when we're doing something like this, but since Buddy was asleep, I took the opportunity and ran with it. I got presents to wrap today. We have some dirty Santa um, get-togethers, and since they're at my friend's house and they have comfortable chairs, I'm able to go for like an hour or so, so that should be fun. We'll eat, do the presents, and then we'll have to go, but... They usually have games and like they'll set up a little karaoke machine and so that's always pretty fun. I wish I could stay several hours like most people, but I just, I can't. Even being at a house that's comfortable, it's never gonna be as comfortable as my own house and where all my stuff is. Let me show you this color. Look how pretty this style color is. So pretty. Okay. I think I'm gonna go into Lux, this teal, dark teal, into the outer V. I'm not doing anything, you know, mind blowing. Just a little greenish look with some shimmer in the inner corner. I know I've done a lot of get ready with these lately, but you know, I always find it odd when somebody, I think I deleted it, when somebody comments, oh, all you've done lately is get ready with me. For me, YouTube is what I like to do. I'm not, I mean, if I got monetized, that would be fine. But that's not the end goal for me. It's, it was always to kind of have something to do because, um, I'm going to get a clean, fluffy brush. I'd lost most of my hobbies, you know, when I got injured. Oh, that's so pretty. We usually stop and eat. But, oh, I find it funny when people comment that, like, if this isn't what you want to watch, I mean, I would love to have you as part of my family on YouTube, but if it's not what you want to watch, why are you here? I don't, like if you just say, hey girl, you okay? You're doing a lot of get ready with me and I miss your whatever, that's fine. That's not poopy and it's, you know, just a friend saying I miss these type videos. But don't be ugly online. I mean, would you say that to my face? You know, it don't bug me like, um, bother me or scare me or whatever when people do that i just think it's silly you know i do want the shimmer to be pretty sparkly so i'm getting my nyx glitter glue which was on my desk
a little dot on the back of my hand. Man, Tennessee's so bad about allergies. I love Tennessee so much, especially if we go to the mountains and stuff. But allergies are so bad, no matter what time of year it is. I just um, ordered some, I got the headache one right here. Um, it's an all natural, uh, like essential oils. It's called the, the, um, the person who makes these is called the Oily Chick. Bungalow is the name. And I got Jason a sinus buster one. And my the headache one's working. And he said the sinus buster one is helping. So I am, if I remember, I'm going to link her down below. I am really pleased with that because I don't like putting more medicines on the medicines I've already taken. I'm getting that glue off the back of my hand. Let's see. Do I have a flat brush? So I try to use all natural stuff when I can. I just it's just a little clean on the flat brush. And I'm gonna go into dreamy this purple with mint green and all those shades. Let's see what it does with the brush. Oh, that's beautiful. I am not there's a little fallout with this, but it is a very shimmery shade. I usually only use the brush part for, like, if I want it to be a little more precise. But I will go in with my finger just to amp it up. I'm just kind of doing, laying out the map of where I want this shimmer to be. It's, it's just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of fallout. And I think it was the way I picked it up on the brush. There was a little chunk on the brush and it fell on my face. Have y'all got y'all's presents wrapped? I got the cats, me, Jason, and Buddy stuff. Well, not me. Um, our stuff wrapped that I had to wrap. I gotta start wrapping today, though. I got four presents I have to wrap by this um, weekend and then the rest have to be wrapped by Christmas. Well, my folks don't really have to be wrapped by Christmas because I don't think we're going to make it there before Christmas. But I'm just going to kind of tap the rest of the sparkle off my finger into the outer V. But I'd like to just go ahead and get it all over with. So Jason's brother-in-law, or Jason's brother and sister-in-law are staying with us tomorrow night, I believe. Yeah, tomorrow night. So while he's cleaning, I'm going to try to be wrapping, which that may drive Buddy crazy and I may not be able to, but we'll see. Then I'm going to go into this kind of minty neon opulence green shimmer right there and go into the inner portion of my eye. I was only going to use one shimmer, I know, but this palette is too pretty not to play around a little bit more with it. I feel like a mermaid eye, you know? And hopefully that'll help me feel better. It'll put a smile on the vet's face to see the color. Because you never know who that you're going to cheer up by having a bright, fun look on a drabby day, you know? Especially today because the gentleman that um, helps the doctor and I think is done with his doctor stuff, I think. So I do believe he's going to be the next vet if our vet ever retires, which I hope he don't, but I know we will have to probably one day. I'm actually going to go on with this yellowy with green twinkle right here and put it in the inner corner. He takes over the front on Thursdays so that the girls can have a day off. The nurses and front people and all that. So he can get kind of crazy on Thursdays. He's always like, man, every Thursday I remember how much I appreciate the ladies here. 
because Dr. Anderson is so great and such a reasonable price, his clientele keeps going up and up. I'm so glad we started with him right when he opened because I do feel like if he don't, the place is really small, so I feel like if he doesn't decide to go to a bigger place with more people, which I don't think he will, um, if he has to stop taking clients, I don't think he'll stop with us because we've been there from the get-go. We just happened to move to that city when he moved to that city. And he knew we were rescuing and trying to get everybody fixed. Yeah, all that came off. All right, I'm gonna do a little, um, the professional setting spray from Benefit before I put this mascara on. I'm gonna use that tubing mascara again from Tarte. I can still feel whatever that is like in my eye. But I'm sure my eye water enough to get it out or kind of soothe it. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't get any powder or anything in there. It's just irritated from where I tried to go in and get whatever it was out. I probably scratched it myself. I'm real bad about trying to go in and get, like if I have an eyelash or whatever. And usually if you just do eye drops, it'll wash out. And the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Two of my cats are sneezing. Bless their hearts, they have allergies too. Precious is usually pretty bad. To me, this mascara almost don't smell like mascara. I don't know how to explain it. It's almost a better smell than most mascara. Which probably sounds crazy, but whatever the smell is, you can smell it, but it just smells like the ingredients, you know? But kind of clean. But I don't think it claims to be a clean. I don't think it is a clean. I haven't looked at the ingredients, but. I'm going to try to get Buddy to <coughs> go potty. He's got to wear the elite potties twice a day, which is great. But we're learning what times he likes to go right now. And I think he's learning what times he prefers to go. Yesterday, he held it for 12 hours on his own. I mean, I kept taking him outside, but he just got a haircut and the rain was freezing cold. So he would run out there, pee real quick and run back inside. I'm like, no, you gotta go potty. Somebody's out there running around. Probably Precious, because Boo Boo's in here with me. And I would stay lucky and Kit Kat are sleeping on the couch. You never know. Man, my eyebrows are bold. Thank goodness for glasses, right? I mean, they don't look bad. I'm fine with them. They're just bold. Trying to separate. I got a little bit too much mascara on that one. There we go. I love tubing mascara. Waterproof and tubing. I think I got one mascara recently that wasn't one of them. That's okay. It's pretty good, but it's just not great. I hear him barking. Thank goodness I'm done. But anyways, y'all, so that's the finished look. Thanks for being here. I love you guys so much. I hope you're making good decisions. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.